And with more people and more buildings comes more garbage. But a lot of the stuff that we throw out does get a second life through recycling. Some materials are converted into energy, a conversion that's making Boise's recycling program one of the most sophisticated in the country. And as our Gretchen Parsons shows us, it's a high tech, complex process. Last year, when China stopped accepting a lot of our plastics, communities around the country were faced with a choice. Send it to the landfill or come up with another way to reuse it. Boise came up with a way to reuse the material, but it involves hours of sorting through thousands of pounds of trash that's heavily contaminated. It's a dirty job, but it's making our community more sustainable. At the end of the day, there's a lot of hands involved. It's very, very labor intensive. Every day, 150 tons of recyclable trash is picked up in Boise and dumped onto this floor to be sorted. That's everything that's allowed to go loosely into the blue bin. Any plastic marked with the number one or two. So those are your heavier duty jars and jugs, like you can th think of maybe like a, a heavy duty uh, juice container. Aluminum cans and foil, flattened cardboard, newspapers, magazines, mail, and office paper. It all makes its way up onto this conveyor belt where 25 workers hand sort dozens of pieces of trash per minute. A job not for the faint of heart. Yeah, it's it's dirty, it's hard work, and uh, it is um, challenging to, for, to find 25 people a day that want to do it. A lot of people can't do it because they get motion sickness. Oh. Yeah, when you're staring at that conveyor and it's running in front of you. Oh, yeah. Gillahan says majority of these workers' time is dedicated to sorting things that shouldn't make its way to the recycling facility in the first place. A uh, four-foot boa constrictor. And I'm being truthful, we did get one. And it was alive, and it was angry, and came up all the way up here on top on the sort line. Okay, that was an anomaly. Gillahan says the biggest contaminant by far is plastic film. It's everywhere in this stuff. It's not supposed to be in the recycling containers to begin with. And we spend a tremendous amount of labor trying to remove it. And it's going to go to the landfill anyway. 400 tons of contamination, mostly plastic film, is painstakingly picked out by hand and sent to the landfill every month. Gillahan says if you aren't sure if something goes in the blue bin, don't recycle it at all. That will help make our jobs tremendously more easy. And it makes the marketing of our finished product much better because we do have a cleaner product. But all of that plastic film, along with plastic food packaging, straws, utensils, lids, items that China used to recycle, can have a second life, along with bubble wrap and styrofoam. Put it in an orange bag and toss that into your blue bin. That's part of our sorting process is to isolate these orange bags and pull them off the sort line. And then it's taken down to Salt Lake City and converted into diesel fuel. So it's really giving another life to those plastics that would have otherwise been uh, had to been landfilled. Boise is one of three cities in the country to participate in this plastic to fuel program citywide. And since the city started one year ago, Hickman with Public Works says the community has had a very positive response. The amount of bags that collected from Boise residents has been about 400,000. Um, and the amount as far as weight is 42,000 tons. That's 1,430 barrels of diesel or enough energy to fuel 58 households or power 145 cars for one year. The city is mailing out more vouchers good for a free roll of orange bags in mid-June. Boise may be ahead of the recycling game compared to other cities in the nation, but Hickman says the community is still faced with the question, how do we use less and reuse more, as there's always a constant stream of more trash. In Boise, Gretchen Parsons, Idaho's News Channel 7.